Jaden Cox, true freshman NCAA finalist. First off, what are you surprised who you had in the semifinals and Penny? Uh, honestly, I was surprised who I had in the semis and in the in the quarters. Um, I, I had been training really hard for you know, Macintosh and Rudd. You know, I was really seeing those two names. I was like, all right, you know, one of those two could uh, you know I could see, and uh, you know this is the place where upsets happen. So uh, once that happened, you know I had to refocus and like, all right. Doesn't matter. You've trained hard enough to beat anybody you're going. You know, so, yeah, it probably was a big surprise to me. <laughs> There's a lot of hoopla at the NCAA tournament. There's just a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Do you pay attention to any of that outside stuff? Uh, no, I try not to. You know, I try to just, you know, zone in. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm Jaden Cox. Jaden Cox has to take care of Jaden Cox. But, you know, it's really hard with all the, like, like you said, the hoopla. It's like, oh, this person got upset. We have a national champion that's not placing. What's going on? You know, it's like, is you know it's like well I'm not what have I done and I'm not even you know it's, it's like people are I don't know what to expect but when I step out there you know it's just like it zones out like you gotta do what you do and Coach uh, Smith and and Coach Henson have really drilled that in me do what you do um, it's really easy because they focus on my technique and they're just like focus on this and everything and that's what I do big stage tomorrow Nick Hufflin not the most offensive guy he uh, he's strong he stays in a good stance. And it's up on the big stage, ESPN, all the hoopla like we're talking about. Yeah. How do you stay focused and in the zone and not worry about the hoopla? I stay away from it, to be honest with you. You know, I, I enjoy the time with my family. Um, I enjoy tonight uh, for now. But uh, I, just, I just stay away from it. You know, my focus is on me, and that's how I stay away from it. You know, I don't focus on what's out there. I focus on me, what I have to do. If I do that, you know, the hoopla and everything can't interfere. Because, uh, you know, when I step there on the mat, um, my uh, sports psych uh, coach just told me uh, wrote a thing that said hardcore, saying that it's only about you, you do you, do what you do, empty the chamber. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking about that, you know, every match. So just focus on me, do what I do best, and that's wrestle. Being, you know, a true freshman, there's not a whole lot of true freshmen, AAs, when you look at that. Being a finalist, nonetheless, what's that like? It's, it's pretty cool, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's leaving me half empty. I got more work to do tomorrow, so... It's nice, but it's not as tasteful as a gold medal would be. How was the green screen here at ESPN? <laughs> it was pretty cool. Uh, um, I don't really get interviewed like that very often, um, let alone at all anymore, but it was pretty awesome. All right, Columbia. A lot of people from Columbia here? Uh, well, from the zoo, the university, some alu a lot of alumni came. My family came. Uh, so, yeah, I got a big support group here, and it's, it's awesome. We all do, and um, can't wait for tomorrow. We're having a blast. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I've been having a blast every match. So even more, even more now, and I'm ready. I'm ready for tomorrow. So you got anything else for me? Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you.